2022 slot 2 quantitative aptitude question number 20 let fx be a quadratic polynomial in x such that fx is greater than or equal to 0 for all real numbers x and f2 is equal to 0 f4 is equal to 6 then you've got to calculate the value of f of minus 2 <coughs> So we have a quadratic polynomial fx is greater than equal to 0. Now we all know that quadratic polynomials the general term is ax square plus bx plus c. So fx may be equal to ax square plus bx plus c and this is given to be greater than equal to 0. Now one thing that is certain here is this polynomial has to be of this shape because it's greater than equal to 0 all values so it has to lie above the x-axis so one thing is very certain that it is a u-shaped figure now we have f of 2 is equal to 0 now remember these polynomials are symmetrical about the 0 value so, if I <coughs> just to draw the polynomial here, when the polynomial is symmetrical about the value 2, that means the polynomial could be something like this. The lowest point for this polynomial is at f is equal to 2, which is 0. So, it is just touching the x-axis. And if you note here, so points that are equidistant from 2 on either side will have the same value of the function. So we can say that f of 2 plus p will be equal to f of 2 minus p where this point is 2 plus p and this point is 2 minus p. And these values a and b they represent the value of fx. So if I put p is equal to 2, we'll have f of 2 plus 2 must be equal to f of 2 minus 2, which means f4 will be equal to f0. And f4 we have already been given to be equal to 6. And you also have the value of f2 as 0. Now, if you put the value of 2 in place of x, so if we calculate x f2, we'll get 4a plus 2b plus c, and this is equal to 0. This is equation number 1. f of 0, so putting x is equal to 0 in this equation, we have c is equal to 6. f of 4, so we put x is equal to 4 here, we'll get 16 times a plus 4b plus c and this is also equal to how much? 6. So you have these three equations 1, 2 and 3. You put the value of c as 6 in both these equations 1 and 3. So equation 1 will transform as 4a plus 2b is equal to minus 6. And equation 2 will transform as 16 times a plus 4 times b must be equal to 0. <coughs> now, if you solve these two equations, just multiply the equation above by 4. So, you will get 16 times a plus 8 times b is equal to minus 24. <coughs> Subtracting the two equation let us call this equation number 4 and equation number 5 subtracting 5 from equation number 4 we'll get minus 4p is equal to 24 or b is equal to minus 6 so we got c as 6 b as minus 6 now putting the value of c and b in equation 1 we have 4 times a plus 2 times minus 6 plus 6 is equal to 0 or 4 times a is equal to 6 
a is equal to 6 by 4 or 3 by 2. So we got the value of both all the three a, b and c. So our function the quadratic polynomial becomes a x square that is 3 by 2 times x square plus b x. So b is minus 6 so we can have minus 6 x plus c is equal to c. So this is your quadratic polynomial and putting the value of x as minus 2 we get 3 by 2 into minus 2 square minus 6 into minus 2 plus 6. So 2 2s are 4 so 6 plus 12 plus 6 so the value of f of minus 2 is equal to 24 which is your answer.